Okay, welcome to the video. We're going to talk about the, uh, the tarmac. Uh, if you appreciate the videos, give it a thumbs up. If you want fake videos, give it a thumbs down. So this is a tarmac SL Works SL7. It's a beautiful day here. It's September 26, South Australia, 2021. I think it's 26 Australia time. We're going to do a few tests. We're going to do a seated power, standing power. Basically, we're trying to snap the chain. We're going to try and snap the chain off this bike. If you're not snapping chains, you're not sprinting hard enough. If you're not crashing over the bars, snapping chains, you're not a sprinter. So we'll do a couple of slow speed corners, high speed corners in the first corner. The bike just feels unstable. It just it feels so, whoa! This is not a tarmac. This is like, it feels like a gravel bike. But actually worse than that, because the front end just feels so flexy. It feels so flexy. It, it is a very comfortable bike. We'll jump the gutter here. And this is not sponsored, this is my bike. So I can do as I wish. So off the gutters, up 10 out of 10. It doesn't feel like a road bike when you go up and down the gutters. It feels like a gravel bike. It's very, very comfortable for that. So if you're an Uber Eats rider, it's gonna be great. Um, but for road racing, it just feels too. Let's do, let's do a U-turn. I should chase these kids down. Do a U-turn. mirror on anyway and then we'll just do this is a hot dog circuit and then rear end this is flexing it's flexing as we accelerate up good day for it yeah good day and then just a lot of wag out the rear end the brakes work as good as the rim brake bike in the wet though you're gonna lock this baby up you're gonna be crashing that's why we see so many pro riders crashing on these disc brake bikes in the wet. It's just so saggy. It's so flexy. Absolute junk. Junk. On the brakes. Check your shoulder. That's the advantage of the mirror. In a crit. Out of saddle. Just flexing. So oh, man. Definitely not a race bike at all. It's uh yeah. It's not sharp. Let's get on the SL2 and compare. And that's the camera. This this is the SL2 Tarmac. Incredible bike. Amazing bike. All these Tarmac spouts ride the same except the SL7 or disc brake variations. This is absolute killer. One of the best bikes specialized ever brought to market. Tarmac, same deal. Um, same same protocols. See the sprint. Yeah, this is the best. Oh yeah. Amazing bike. Damn, what a race bike. Oh, yes. Yes. Beautiful. Perfect balance. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Check the shoulder. Hairpin. Boom. So tight. Oh yeah. Out of the saddle. Wow, this bike is incredible. True race bike. Brakes. Better patch today. Boom. 
dream bike. Another bike we're going to test today, the Specialized Roubaix SL4, 105 10 speed, great value bike on the second market at the moment, very, very stiff, uh, you know, very capable machine, not lightest, but very stiff, stiffer than the Tarmac SL7 S-Works by far. All right, we're on the Roubaix, on the Roubaix SL4 gears. A 105, they don't feel as crisp as the Dura Ace, probably because these cables are old. But uh, put a big ring, just give it some power, seated. Yeah, it's definitely stiffer, definitely stiffer than the uh, tarmac out of saddle. It's definitely stiffer. Different for the corners. Another corner. Oh, you feel the pump. Not as comfortable, but definitely more racy. Ready for race on the brakes off. Out of the saddle. Snap some chain, snap some chain. Snap some fucking chain. And then bang around. Out saddle, very, very stiff, feels great. Corner coming up, hard brake, boom. Perfect modulation, accelerates the stop, Woo. boom. Left, right, good night. Hard corner, yes. Better than the tarmac. More pinpoint accuracy. Final sprint. Of an SL4 S Works. Very, very light. 6.6 .6 kilos without pedals. Beautiful bike. Uh, Raval wheels, ceramic ceramics bearings in there, feels very smooth, SRAM 10 speed, can't get better than that, pretty much for mechanical, incredible bike, love it, the best uh, S-Works, so the best Roubaix is the SL4 in my opinion, incredible bike, actually all the Roubaix's are pretty good, once added disc brakes, added weight, sluggishness, not as responsive, but the rim brake, uh, Tarmax and the rim brake Roubaix's, always a fantastic bike.